It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And is it me, or do elevators not play generic, boring music anymore? Hey, you're, you're right. right. It's been a while. I want to feel mildly entertained on that 12-second ride up to our <laughs> studio. I always or like to annoyed. try to guess what the tune is, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? If the elevators aren't going to provide that bland, lackluster level of entertainment, then we'll provide it ourselves yeah. with yeah. What's On Your Mind, where we go around the room to see what each member of the morning show has been thinking about lately, starting with Brooke. Brooke, what's on your mind? Well, I had a big girls' night out over the uh, weekend. And uh, leading cool. up to this, of course, you know, we're it was on Friday. So it's a little over a week away from Halloween. And the group mm-hmm. text got a little carried away. And they decided that they all wanted to dress up like cute, sexy troll dolls. Right? Oh, <laughs> that's hot. Wait a minute. I yeah. love that idea. Yeah. I, don't, I just wasn't feeling it, you guys. Okay. And so I was like, I'm going to dress up. And then well, I, I love, love, love doing really Halloween exactly. costumes. I know. So it's just like I've been overwhelmed. And so I'm like, fine. <sighs> but I got to take a different angle. Oh. So I then the, at... You're going to take a different angle than the agreed upon theme that everybody <laughs> said they're going to yes, do? Yes, because troll. I think that was lame. I think oh. it was a lame idea. So oh. I went with <laughs> internet troll. Okay, mm. so I still had oh. the inner, the troll hair oh. like they did. A play on but troll. But okay. I... I made myself a, a goatee and a mustache and I wrote internet and I carried around a broken keyboard. You know, just, oh, just sound more like one of your costumes. It, thank yeah. you. Yeah. But the problem is the yeah. problem is is when I showed up to the fancy sushi restaurant. Uh-huh. Oh fancy restaurant. I was the first one there. Oh, and God. no one in the whole place was dressed up. Oh. And you guys, I can't tell you the level of awkward because there's three middle aged businessmen standing in front of me waiting for the hostess. Oh, You're at a high end no. sushi restaurant. And yes. they, don't, they don't know what to do. <laughs> They're like no. kind of turning around, and finally one of them is brave enough to approach me. No. And says, And kick you out. So, yeah, right? <laughs> you have a thing. And I go, Yeah, I'm going to a thing. And he goes, what are you? <laughs> and I show him my shirt, and he's like, oh, internet troll. And I expect them to laugh, but yeah. again, oh, just awkward no. silence. Oh, no. And he goes, why the facial hair? And I'm like, well, I yeah, just... I was gonna it's ask a good that question. Too. It just why? felt like, right, if you're an internet troll, you'd have a bad goatee. I don't know, just... It oh, I, I thought of it, yeah. Men are the <laughs> evil <laughs> ones on the yeah. internet. Yeah. We get yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, no yeah. human internet troll. Well, I mean, that was kind of his response. He just said, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn back okay. So, so it didn't turn out quite the way you were hoping. I did what? get a free dessert out of it from the hostess because oh, I think she nice. felt bad for me. Or she yeah. thought you were actually going to go on to Yelp and yeah. troll them for not getting a free thing. Probably. Wait, wait, what did your friends think? Do they like it? Half of them did. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're basically, you it's anybody. that one friend that shows up that feels like they're better than everybody oh, no. else yeah. and they had to outdo the cost. <laughs> I did my own thing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, <laughs> what's been on your mind? Well, I would have to admit that more than any other time in my life, I'm actually enjoying spooky season. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. like, I'm, it's so I'm fun. getting into it. And the other night, Alexis and I went to go get audio at a haunted house mm-hmm. for the brand new segment, What You Doing at the Haunted House, yeah. coming up this Monday at 810. Don't miss it. A little plug there. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to say you plug it, but I like Just it. Just keep yes, going. Okay, good. anyway, sorry, sorry. So we show up. And it's rainy, it's gloomy, yeah. it's windy. It's you, perfect. You hear people screaming, you hear yeah. chainsaws mm-hmm. buzzing. Mm-hmm. Like, And I was like, this is fun. Like, I'm mm-hmm. into it. Like, well, to be fair, that's what it's like in your area of town anyway. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I'm home. Right, yeah, downtown area. But yeah, it's by the haunted house too. <laughs> no, it was great. And so we get our audio. I thought the audio was fun and everything was awesome. The vibes were like perfect. And then at the end, the owner, we're thanking him, and he's Mm -hmm. like, well, hey, um, how about VIP? Like, people pay a lot of money for these for these tickets. Oh, yeah. oh you're going to actually go through. You you hate going they, through haunted houses. They skip you to the front of the line, oh, right? Sweet. And so you just go right in. And you guys, this is a huge haunted house where people wait over an hour mm-hmm. to get in. Damn. Right? Did you go? Did you so go? there's me, there's mm-hmm. Alexis, and then there's her roommate. Right? Yeah. So there's me and two yeah, yeah. small blonde girls. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> two people went in. And I was not one of yeah, them. We didn't okay. expect that. Okay, well, I'm not, not fully it. into it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But when okay. the owner, when I told the owner, he's like, okay, I can get you guys in. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not going in. They're going in. <laughs> and he looked at these tiny little blonde, yeah. cute girls, yeah. and he's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm not going to freaking die tonight. <laughs> and so he laughs. And so. 
you know, I'm getting into the spirit, yeah, but slowly. I'm still not fully ready yeah, for yeah, like that. But okay. you know, Papa Bear loves Halloween mm-hmm. from a distance. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. uh, all right. Happy spooky. Give season. it a few yeah. more years. And maybe I'll. Maybe by the time you're 70, someone will wheel you through it yeah. in yeah. like your wheelchair. Uh-huh. When you don't <laughs> have a choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I will say also our producer and his 10 year old son got in. I got them in yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The 10 year old um, loved it. So. Yeah, yeah. Apparently. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Besides whatever happened with Jose over the weekend, yeah. tell us what's been on your mind. Well, kind of like he said, I mean, I knew he wouldn't go in, so I had a friend go in this haunted house with me. Okay. Yeah. And much better experience because she's not really scared of things. Oh, oh. she's like the opposite. Is that of fun, me. though, to go through a haunted it, house it with is. someone who doesn't react? It is because I had like a different experience. Like, we're more looking at like how well done it is and like the details of like the massacres <laughs> happening inside it, you know? Oh, you have yeah. watched. <laughs> Too much true crime. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of looking at how well done it is and like appreciating it more. This blood splatter is very realistic. Yeah. <laughs> but the most like memorable part for me was actually like something I wouldn't expect. Um, so one of the like actors in it, all dressed up scary, comes up and like breathes on my face Ooh. when I walk in. Yeah. And, like, that wasn't the scary part. It's that, like, their breath smelled like Doritos. Oh. Like. <laughs> Original or Cool Ranch? Oh, Cool Ranch I think, would be much oh, more frightening. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do true. think it was Cool Ranch. Oh. And oh. my room, like, my friend looks at me and she's like, do you smell that too? And I'm like, Ew. yeah. This guy just got back from lunch break. I yeah. think so. And, like, that just lingered the yeah. entire house. I just couldn't get the Doritos off my face. No. Yeah. Oh. That like, was the scariest part. Do you yes. offer gum to a zombie? No. Yeah. <laughs> I should have gone back and probably done that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, but, yeah, so just for anybody who is breathing on people in haunted houses, maybe just think about your lunch choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're supposed to go out on a date with Alexis, definitely don't eat yeah. Doritos no. right no, before. No, 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 no. Everybody, just brush okay. your teeth after Doritos. That's <laughs> yeah. all I have to say. All right, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? So I went to a pumpkin patch over the weekend. Ooh, we were all festive. Look at we? us. Look at us. <laughs> they had a display there showing how the pioneers used to live back in the 1800s. Okay. You oh. know, where they have this old outhouse, too. Like the wooden structure, oh, and it's what ripped off. Pumpkin patch did you go to? <laughs> it's supposed to show all the different aspects of pioneer okay. life. It's a historical oh. pumpkin patch. And you guys know me; I'm very interested in restrooms. Mm. Uh, yes. Not my own, but yeah, strangers' restrooms yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you are. So I started reading about it because they had a write-up there, mm-hmm. right next to it, explaining like what it was all about. Oh, cool. And apparently, it's someone's job to go around North America to these old historic sites and literally dig down into the outhouses. Ew. Did you know this? What? I don't, wait, hold on. Like to build new outhouses? Is no, to dig up the old ones. Oh. And Someone's like going go to... through all the old waste Ew. from people back in the 1800s. Why? I didn't know this was a thing. That's their whole job. Wait, so what? they like transported ancient yeah. poo to make sure yeah. it was realistic? I don't understand. No, no, no. The, but it's the poo uh. is not there anymore. It was already dug up. But somebody's job is to dig it up and to like study it so they can learn about their diets oh. and any illnesses Ew, they have. Sometimes cool. they found old artifacts down in there that people accidentally dropped in. Ew, you're learning this at the pumpkin patch. At the pumpkin patch. <laughs> okay. and, and I realized they have all these old tiny buildings. They have the old homestead, uh-huh. the old saloon, the blacksmith, and out of everything, the most fascinating part to me is the hole in the ground where pioneers would take a tree. <laughs> And I just had to ask the room, does that make me weird? Yes. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay, yes. good. I'm glad that it's uh-huh. official. I just wanted to make uh-huh. sure 100%. It's really yeah. strange. But it is really fascinating, isn't yeah. it? You, I don't know between you and Brooke, because she's into the modern day outhouses. You're into the <laughs> yeah. old school I mean, outhouses. I've been around them too much. Maybe yeah, they've lost the sheen. Uh, does it have the same <laughs> yeah. luster that it yeah. did? Well, I'm just getting into it now. Uh, okay, I well. can't wait for the Netflix documentary. Please don't tell me you're trying to get a souvenir. Uh, we, got a, <laughs> we got a double seater from my childhood I could show you. Oh. Oh. Double seater. Yeah. Whoa, that's like a Lamborghini. My mom always said a family that poos together. Wow. <laughs> I'm very interested. I want to see pictures of that. But text in the 78592 and tell us what's been on your mind. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.